Hey guys, Tony here from O4G Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an outline or silhouette to your images in Canva. Let's get to it. In my last video, I showed you how to remove the background of an image or photo. In this video, we're going to go a step further by adding an outline to that. So the first thing we need to do is to duplicate the image. We do this by pressing and holding down the Alt key on your keyboard and clicking on the image and dragging it right across to make a copy of that image. And now you've got two of me. Well, hey. Once you've, once you've done that, the next step is to use one of the images as your outline. So we're going to go into our effects menu and choose the Duotone app. Now with the Duotone app, you can choose any of the um, Duotone effects and apply it to your image. Once the Duotone effect has been applied to your image, you can then, um, you can see on the top corner like a um, mixer type of icon on that effect you've applied so clicking on it will present you with its settings for that effect now what we want to do here is to click on the highlights and the shadows um, to do that just click on the color palette itself so you need to choose the top left corner that is white and the same will be the case for your shadows and you will get this pure white um, effect so once we've um, applied the dual effect to this image we can then now um, resize it so that it's slightly bigger than the original and then place it behind the original image to give the silhouette or outline that we're trying to achieve with this um, in this tutorial so once you've adjusted the size and you're happy with it then you can go ahead and change the position by clicking on backwards right at the top there. And once that is done, you can now drag the original on top of it. Um, so that way you have one clean image. You can merge both images by adding them to a group. And you can do that by just dragging the mouse across the two images and group them here on the top. That way when you move it around, it remains the same wherever you drag it. In, on the canvas and there you go so you can move that back to the corner if you wish you can add your text a logo or whatever else you need to add onto the thumbnail and you're all done well i hope you found this helpful and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and god bless